Today I'm going to be testing my MacBook M2 to see if my footage plays back smoothly in DaVinci Resolve with 4K video at H.265. Now H.265 is a super heavy dense file type, it has a lot of information, so my last computer it played it back really slowly. So today I'm just going to test how it does in DaVinci Resolve. And I'm going to test this without color grading and with color grading. So here we have without color grading and I'm going to play it back and see how it runs. It should be fine without color grading, but we'll see what happens when I add more effects on it. So let's play it back in three, two, one. Wow, this color is nice. I'm gonna turn the audio off and we can see up here, my battery's at 95%. It's been on 95% for a while. I've had this running, but now we can see how the video runs with that 95%. Now I wanna thank one of my viewers. They suggested this in the comments. So thank you for watching and I hope this video helps you. And I'm interested to see how this does too. And you can see it's playing back really smooth. And if I go out of preview, you can see my proxies are at full. And here you can see it has ended. And let's check our battery life. My battery is still at 95%. It's still doing great. Here you can see I made some color adjustments. I added an exposure node, a contrast node, a saturation node, a color space transform, and a LUT. Now this is going to be my basic color grade test. I'm going to see how my computer runs with a basic grading with this heavy codec and the 4K file. Now you can see as I play it, it's playing smoothly. I have the color grade on it and it's running back really smooth. And I forgot to see if my battery went down within that time. Nope, still at 95%, still running great. So like I said before, this is an H.265 file, which is a really taxing codec on most computers. So I'm surprised this is running so well because my old computer, it choked up a lot. And this is no proxy, no like half resolution. This is full resolution, this is the full 4K. But you can see right here as I peel it down, it plays back really smooth. So this is kind of what you can expect from your MacBook M2 14 inch when you get it. It's going to play back really smoothly and it's gonna look nice. So now the video's ended, so I'm going to exit out of here. So that was with a basic color grade. Now, I'm going to test out, let's see what the battery's at. It's still at 95%. Now, that's just two minutes, 95%. But what happens if we add some more effects on here, some more taxing effects? I'm going to show that next. Okay, so here I added MD, I added Glow, I added a radio blur here, which blurs are usually a little more taxing on your computer, especially different effects. And I added the color palette and the battery's still at 95%. And I'm going to play it and we're gonna see how it runs with all these effects on. Another reminder, this is 4K footage, H.265. The computer's not hot at all. It's playing back smooth, it's at full resolution. So let's see what our battery's at now. And our battery's still at 95%. It's at 95% still, and it's running great. It just turned to 94%. After how many times? Three times of running this. So now that I've tested it with all these effects and it's running great, it's running smooth, we know that what happens if we take this clip and we duplicate it on top of each other? Now I've seen Apple do this before and they did it in their promotional stuff and it ran very, very smoothly. So I'm curious to see how it runs here within DaVinci Resolve. So what I'm going to do is take this, duplicate, take this, duplicate. Now I'm only gonna do it three times Times. I was thinking of doing it two then three, but I think I'm gonna just jump straight into three now This is three effects on top of each other for two minutes right now. We're at 91% We're still at the full resolution here 
and in our timeline you can even see this is 4k so i'm going to put it full screen let's play it still looks like it's running very well and what i'm going to do actually making it a little bit harder on this i'm going to go to go to composite and right now you can see it paused because i'm doing the compositing i'll do overlay and then this one i will do screen and i'll actually offset this a little bit so it ran pretty good now let's see how it plays with all the offset all the screen all the videos playing at once and honestly it doesn't look bad at all now this is a lot of effects for it to handle, especially at 4K, H.265, and it's holding up really well. Like you can see that this is going good. I'll show you like what it looks like to render this. Right now it's at 88%. I'm going to put this as a render, and this is a two minute clip exactly. So let's see how fast you can render this. I'll do MP4, H.265, kind of like the basic. I'll do a high quality render, and for this, I'm going to do the conversion so the colors don't look weird. So I'm just setting this up. Data levels, I'll put it at full. Now this is a two minute video. Let's see how fast it renders. So rendering in three, two, one. Now, reminder, this is a two minute video, and it has a bunch of effects on it, and we're already at one minute remaining, pretty much. And a reminder, this is a 4K file. We're outputting at like one of the highest resolutions besides the H.265, we changed it to H.264, which it takes a little bit to convert that. 35 seconds remaining. Three. and it's almost done rendering. Of course, I'm gonna speed through this just so you don't have to wait like I do, but this is really fast, like two minutes and two minutes, and this is like a bunch of effects on it as well. And I think that was actually under two minutes from what I felt, and this was going fast. It was probably more like a minute and 30 seconds. So we only lost about 8% battery life doing this whole video, and I can tell you this video probably took more than an hour to film. The battery's really good on it, the heat is really good. I feel a little bit of heat, but it still feels good. Anyway, if you have any questions, comment them below. If you liked the video, give it a like, and subscribe if you want to see more about this computer, F-Log, and how to grade it.